okay, hello, this is my uh, discussion of some of the stuff I thought about um, the Ender's Game. It's funny because uh, we're, we're at the cinema today at um, Glen Waverley, and we're going into our, our, our cinema and some people were coming out of the cinema and going, um, is this the right cinema for the Hunger Games? And they're like, which movie are you guys seeing? And we're like, we're going to see Ender's Game. And they're like, oh, okay. And was, I just found it amusing that there was two um, movies, like teen movies. I don't know if it's teen, because I don't know if Ender's Game is a teen novel, but it kind of teen in a way, because it has a teenage character, main character. Um, but like, they both have the word game in them. And they're at the same time. I thought that was just kind of hmm, coincidental. Anyways, back to the um, discussion about the movie. Oh, I love the fact... When I was reading the book... Oh, no. So this... Yeah, this is a spoiler. So this is... In this video, you've already seen the movie or read the book. So I'll, I'll be talking about plot points. Okay. Um, so when I was reading the book, I was thinking... Oh, when they make the movie, are they going to like chop out that last part where, after the battle, you know the bit where, um, Ender finds out that, you know, he, they won the war and stuff and it was real and stuff, and then he does that thing where he goes to the Hive Queen and gets the Hive Queen, I thought, oh, I hope they don't chop it out, like, you know, like, sometimes Hollywood movies, they want the big, epic ending and then just end it there, like, you know, nicely, but no, this movie did it properly, that he, 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 he did the battle, he had the thing where he told them how he felt and stuff, you know, in the discussion, and then he went off and did the Hive Queen thing, and, and he, he ended, it ended with him, you know, trying to, wanting to redeem himself, you know, it was awesome, like, that's, to me, that's the core of the movie, and they put it, the core of the story, and they put it in there. Um, oh, one thing, like, I, one thing in the movie, the books that I really liked, which was not in the movie, but I totally understand, is, the, um, Valentine, she's one of my favourite characters in the books, um, in the book that I read, um, you know, her relationship with Ender and how, you know, they're just so close and stuff, and also, yeah, all stuff that she did, but, um, I guess they had to take it out, otherwise it would take too long, you know, and it just wouldn't work. Um, uh, yeah. One thing that was a bit distracting was, uh, how small Gonzo was, Bonzo, I forgot his name was, you know, the guy that was in charge of him when he went to the other thing. Like, I don't remember him in the story, them reading about him being so small, but it was just a little bit distracting how small he was. Even Alex, who was sitting next to me, goes, is he supposed to be that small? Yeah. Um, I don't know, but I don't know. It was still... There must be some reason for it. Maybe he's meant to be that, that size. Um, yeah, I liked... Like I said in the review video, I loved the, um, the battle, battle room scenes like when he's spinning around and shooting things and and how they did that they put in all the important battles because there was a lot of battles in um in the book and you know they picked the best things they put the best battles in there and like I couldn't fault it really I mean it d did feel fast like because I think the, some of the people I watched it with said um it felt pretty fast and rushed but I don't know how else you could do it if you slowed down too much, you wouldn't have time for everything, I guess. Um, uh, I, I really liked it. Um, yeah, everything... I liked everything about it. They had all the cool scenes that I liked. You know, the scene with him and Valentine in a, in a boat and stuff. And um, everything. Him... Everything was in there. It was great. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I'll probably end the video there. Probably, I do want to say more things, I guess, but... Oh, how cool is it? Oh, you know, because this is... Uh, um, yeah, um, you know the bit at the end when they're doing the... They're attacking the home planet of... Um, well, it's the buggers, but in the movie they call them something else. But, you know, how they have... And they, all the drones are protecting the thing. And then they're going towards it. And, oh, it was so cool just to see that on the screen. And also sad at the same time because, you know... Well, because I've already read the book, so I had the, I already knew that there's people inside those planes, so it's awesome because it was awesome in itself, but then sad at the same time because all these people were sacrificing their lives for, you know, to do this. Oh, no, it was good. Really, really good. Um, I'll end the video there, but basically, um, I, I, I'm very happy with the the movie. It's just, personally, I'm very happy with the movie. Um, yep.